and welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So today's Tarot Reading is for the month of December 2014 and this is for the Zodiac sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn, your reading um, suggested to me for the month of December and I think, I always say going on from now because I don't strictly think that everything we say in these readings is going to occur right in that month. I think some things could occur before and the culmination happens in the month we speak about or some things could start off in December and then you know go on to the new year and blah 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 so I think this situation is potentially something that has happened that you potentially for some of you guys you know about um, and it could culminate in December or it could even sort of go on in December and then forward and I think it's got to do with something that you were offered or something that you were looking into that you didn't quite trust or you were slightly not sure about and you kind of let it lie but I think through this reading it's telling me that you need to give it another chance now whether that's an ex-lover whether it's um a contract whether it's you know whatever it was that was offered to you it's telling me through this reading quite strongly that you need to give it another chance and I potentially think it's something that created some imbalance within your life something happened and something made you feel a little bit shaky and you thought to yourself I'm not going back there again you kind of just let it lie but through the reading it's strongly telling me that you need to go back to it and you need to sort of review it again because it is actually something that's quite promising and I'll tell you why we've got the full card here and we've got the ace of pentacles and the full card is all about uh, new opportunities and taking a leap of faith okay so really just sort of you know looking at something and kind of not uh, feeling too cautious about it but kind of just going for it okay because you don't know where it's going to lead you and this coupled with the ace of pentacles now the ace of pentacles is all to do with i suppose prosperity and material gains um it can be to do with the beginning of successful business ventures um which would lead me to think potentially it might be something to do with business it might be something to do with the contracts it might be something to do with the job offer that you kind of thought at the time I don't really want to do this because I don't know the money or how far I've got to travel or whatever reason it was potentially you might have turned it down at first but potentially it could come back round again and you might not have looked at it you might not have at the time been in the framework to, in the frame of mind to look at it properly and it might be in the month of December that you decide to look at it properly again and decide that there are benefits to it so I think that what this is saying is is that um, that whatever it is that's been offered to you that potentially for some of you guys you may have turned down or you might not look have looked at the details properly that it would be potentially a good thing to go for because there could be much prosperity in this um, there could be you know the rewards could really pay off for you whatever this thing is potentially that some of you guys were too afraid or too cautious to go for because as I said we've got the full card here and the full always just takes that leap of faith they're like a child they've got like this real kind of childlike imagination you know they don't really think about the you know the where's and why falls and all of that thing they just think oh that looks good I think I'll just go for that and let's just see where it takes me you know let's just sort of go into the woods and let's just see where this path takes me because it might lead to a, an amazing adventure do you see where I'm coming from and I think certainly with the ace of pentacles this is the beginning of something that could be quite prosperous for you and this was kind of backed up to me by um the high priestess and the world card and the high priestess is all about um it's all about using your intuition it's all about sort of going inside and really letting your uh, inner guidance system guide you. But this is also about secrets becoming revealed. And it could be that maybe this situation talks about potentially something that you hadn't looked into properly, but something that comes around again and the details are revealed to you in a little bit more detail. You look into it a little bit more and you finally see what it is that you didn't see before so you could potentially be an opportunity that you missed out on because you missed out on looking at the details properly and then this thing comes around again and you get a chance to have those secrets revealed that you didn't actually see before and this would followed to me by the world and the world card is a wonderful 
card because it's about achievement and it's about success and it's about the world being your oyster and it's about just achieving goals. Now this isn't about overnight success, this is about rewards coming in for past efforts. So if it's something that you've not that was potentially offered to some of you guys and you kind of thought I don't really want to go for that because for whatever reason it was and you didn't really look into the benefits of going for it what these cards are basically saying is, is if you look into the detail as far as I'm concerned if you look into it a little bit more whatever this thing is now whether that's a relationship coming back round you know somebody's coming back to you and saying I want to start again and you're kind of looking at the benefits of starting again with this person or you know a job that was offered to you and you turned it down for one reason or another and they still want you to take the role. Whatever it is, it's really saying to you that if you look into the detail a little bit more, you could find that things are revealed to you that you didn't actually pick up on before. And through that, it's going to be a really successful venture. Um, and this card really does talk about the assurance of success and victory and abundance. Um, and, you know, just being really happy with your achievements so the world is a wonderful indicator for success and it just says to me that if you potentially for some of you guys if this resonates with you if you look into the details of whatever the matter is a little bit more you'll actually start to see what the benefits actually are and there will be assured success with that and then we've got the judgment card and the star card this is a beautiful reading i really love this reading because to me it's all about second chances um the judgment card is all about reawakenings okay awakenings and potentially this is why i was thinking that it's a situation that potentially some of you guys already know about or i suppose could occur in december um but potentially you already know about and it's going to come around in december um the judgment card is all about being called to action and it's all about kind of um giving something a, a second chance and also new beginnings again which would definitely tie in with the ace of pentacles card and also the fool card they're all talking about this new beginning for you but to me it's something because we have um you know the the fool card where it talks about being cautious and taking a leap of faith that suggested to me definitely something that you've kind of potentially for some of you guys that you kind of didn't want to do at first but this card is really saying you know there's going to be a renewal or a revival of something that's been dormant for quite a while so if you can think to yourself what is it what is it that i've kind of let go of uh, this card is really saying that this thing is coming back round again there's going to be a renewal a revival of it you're going to have a second chance with something coming in something that's been let go in the past something that you didn't want to know something that you know you, you weren't sure about it's it's talking about that there's going to be a revival of this thing coming up again and with that you're going to get a second chance with it potentially in the month of december and going forward um this card also talks about oh i guess rejuvenation and i think it also talks about what you sow so 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 you reap okay so anything that you've kind of been working towards you're going to get rewarded on so it could simply be a matter of something that you've been working towards that hasn't really paid off as yet and the judgment card is saying it's going to pay off but you've got to give it time okay because even though this thing might have been laying dormant for a time you need to kind of have faith that it's actually going to work out for you and it's actually going to come back round again and it's actually going to be really successful the second time around. And then we've got the star card here and this card really is all about hope and optimism and again having faith um, and having a lot of self-belief and that, you know, wishes are being fulfilled and wishing on a star and, you know, um, also a, a time of healing as well with the star card. So whatever it is that potentially didn't work out around the first time and these cards are saying you need to take a leap of faith with it the second time around it's saying that you need to be optimistic about it okay and that there's going to be a lot of optimism around this okay because something sometimes when things come around a second time for us um they actually do work out a lot of bit a lot better than the first time that they came around only because we're a lot more self-aware and we're a lot more you know clued up on stuff but to me this this reading is strongly saying that something potentially that didn't work out the first time, something that you were potentially cautious about, 
it's saying that it's going to be coming round again. There's going to be a revival for, from it, but you really need to kind of um, look into the detail of it, okay, a little bit more if you're unsure. And, you know, once you've looked into that detail and a little bit more information has come to light, you need to kind of take that faith, take that leap of faith, because this could be a new beginning for you, okay, coming in. This could be a new, new stuff coming in for you, and it, there is assured success potentially with this new venture. Um, and then finally, we've got the Four of Wands. And the two of pentacles and the four of wands really suggested to me sort of contentment happiness stability um uh being able to reward yourself for past deeds okay for past efforts you know this is a really stable card for me this suggests you know happiness within and stability within your home life within your work life just a really stable structure you know we've got um three people here a man a woman and a child i'm assuming this is the wife and the husband or the partners and then you've got these solid four rods and they're in this beautiful greenery and this suggests to me just complete happiness and contentment and stability and um being self-assured within your environment and knowing that you're loved and knowing that you're safe um and you know this also talks about a time of rest so i think and, and taking a holiday and taking time out from maybe a time of stress so this would tie in i think very well with the christmas period where for a lot of you guys you're going to really be sort of it's going to be all be about the family and it's all going to be about resting up and it's all going to be about you know taking time out and you know having that time to kind of rest and rejuvenate your batteries and um, also, you know, you've probably worked, some of you have probably worked hard all year round and this is a time that you can actually just relax and have a really good time with your family over the, um, over the Christmas period. And also the Two of Pentacles talks about balance, creating balance. You know, maybe for some of you guys, you've been juggling a lot of stuff and this talks about creating an energy of, um, or an environment of balance. And, you know, for some of you guys, if there's been some financial turmoil going on, this talks about things being hopefully balanced out for you. Um, you've been doing a lot of juggling so to me this would say that the juggle stops here with the four of wands because whilst we have you juggling a lot of things here in the two of pentacles this really says that things are going to kind of settle down a bit and I certainly think that within this reading that whatever this situation is potentially for some of you guys that you potentially the first time around were very cautious about and you weren't too sure and suddenly it was dormant it, it you know it didn't happen for a long time and it kind of just you know it just went away potentially for a long time and all of a sudden now it's potentially in the month of december or even now if this resonates with you guys it comes up again it's revived again the the, the situation that lay dormant for so long is suddenly on the horizon again i think what this is saying is is that if you take that leap of faith you're actually with the star card with the world card with the Ace of Pentacles, you're going to be assured some success with that. And also with these cards, if there was an imbalance within you, an imbalance with your environment, whether that was financially, finding your way through financially because you've decided not to go for a particular opportunity and you're still struggling with juggling this, juggling that, juggling the other. This just says to me that if you go for this situation, whatever it is that's potentially for some of you guys going to rear its head again, then you're going to find that you're going to have a lot of stability there. OK, a lot of stability through that situation and that balance can be, you know, attained within your life. OK, but you need to kind of not be afraid and not be so cautious to go for something that's offered to you. You need to take that leap of faith like the fool. Don't be so cautious over this situation. OK, this is a really, really good reading because it all it says to me is that. Whatever imbalance has been created, whatever it is that you have decided not to go for, for some of you, then if it comes around again, if there's a revival of it, if it wakes itself up again, if there's an awakening of something that was offered to you again, a second chance, then you're to give it a second chance because the judgment card does talk about second chances. And certainly it's very strong with the Ace of Pentacles and the world card and the star. These cards are all wonderful wonderful cards that talk about assured success and victory and prosperity and abundance and all those lovely things and then we've got the wonderful card the four of wands which talks about stability in your home life content uh, being contented happiness you know um 
and a time of you know reaping rewards two cards talk about reaping rewards the the judgment card and also the four of wands so yeah really really good reading capricorn for the month of december and i hope all your dreams come true over the christmas period and i hope that everybody gets the the rest that they deserve and uh yeah really good so that's the end of your reading capricorn for the month of december um just to let you know i'll be uh back very quickly before the beginning of december with your love readings and also um just to let you know i'm setting up a new channel called carol carol's universe tarot advice channel this is whereby you, you can come across please subscribe to it once i put it up uh you can ask one question free and i'll give you one answer free okay um so you can ask a question anything you like as long as it's intelligent okay and um I will then answer your question with one card and it's not a full reading by any means I just don't have the time at the moment to do that um, in terms of this channel but it will be one question answered with one card and it will probably be one or two sentences that's all it will be but it's it will just give you a little bit of an insight and also really it's just sort of um uh it's it's really just to introduce my new website that I'm setting up, Carol Ta Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, um, and that will be online within the next two weeks, I should say, and that's where you can actually pay for a reading, and that will be a 30-minute reading, and it will either be a video response reading, or it will be an email reading to start with. So uh, make sure that um, you keep your eyes peeled for that, and thank you for your time, and I'll speak with you soon. Take care.